it's Rachel here with Theodore, and uh, today he is in a very good mood, kind of running all over, and so it's uh, a perfect opportunity for us to review loose leash walking with him. I know he uh, thinks he's a sled dog at times and just wants to pull you right along, and so um, it's a I know that you guys know, I know you've been working on the back method and whatnot with him, but um, it's just important to give him more and more practice in case he doesn't get um, as much practice, like with uh, rainy weather or something, if he's not going out on walks as much. So it's just an opportunity for us to keep introducing him to it so that it just becomes a habit for him to walk nicely on a leash. So we'll start off with the back method and uh, go from there. Come on, Peter. distracted right now to um, for the back method to work really well he's just kind of plowing along and not really responding and coming back to me he just kind of stops and uh, <laughs> getting around the corner in the office there he really wants to go around the corner because that's the way that he goes um, when Ashley takes him to drop him off so he's ready to kind of bust through that way so the reverse method is a little bit better at getting his attention um, and really changing his mind. Instead of the back method, which is just kind of waiting for him to come back to us, the reverse method, we just take off without him and then he follows. So let's try that one now. Okay, so he's responding really well to that. You can see we're walking all over and I'm barely having to correct him at all. So he's doing really great with that. Um, now Theodore, what he kind of does that makes me stumble even though he's a small dog, he's very strong. It'll be kind of a tight leash. He'll be at the end of it but not really pulling. And then it's like he turns on the turbo jets and just surges forward and catches me off guard. So. Um, just so that doesn't happen to you, it's important to just really practice this a lot. Now, um, something that I don't know if we went over in the last loose leash walking video because it's kind of new to me, but the best way to hold the leash where you have the firmest grip, so if Theodore turns on the turbo jets and surges forward, the leash doesn't slip out of your hand, and it's a really comfortable way to hold it too, is put your thumb through the loop like this and then make a fist. So. That way, no matter how hard Theodore pulls, it's not going to slip out of your hand at all. And it's actually really comfortable. Um, so when he does pull a lot, it's uh, uh, still nice and comfortable on your hand. 
but he's doing a really good job. He needs to be reminded of his loose leash walking sometimes because he does know it and he responds really well. So maybe to practice if you just walk him around in circles, an area maybe this big or twice as big to where he stops like going and seeing new things. So it's not like a normal walk where he's interested to see what's around the corner or something like that. But um, you know, just nice, relaxed circles so he gets used to it and we can get lots of practice with him walking nicely on a loose leash instead of always correcting him. I uh, hope this helps. This was Rachel and Theodore and we are working on loose leash walking.